Hey everybody, Lee from PC Junkie Mods. So today I'm going to have a look at the Red Harbinger Cross Desk. Um, I haven't seen any videos online of basically what you get in the box when you buy it. They do offer it right now at Frozen CPU. So I wanted to give you guys a good look at it because I had some questions and I had to hit up uh, a couple of the um, guys that are part of the team, uh, Thomas and uh, Scott, to find out what certain parts, where they went because it does have an instruction manual, but the manual is, this is the only negative thing I could say about the desk, lacking. Um, it does tell you how to put the legs on, it tells you how to put the skirt on, and it even tells you how to set the glass on, just kind of set it on there. Um, so I wish there would have been a little more detail, but maybe when they have the upgrade packs, which is uh, in the upgrade pack, I can't, don't quote me on this, but I want to say it'll come for it'll be set up for a dual system. So if you wanted to go to a dual system in your desk, it would basically be another motherboard tray, another back plate, probably more wiring, um, like the USB 3.0s and the switches. So uh, maybe at some point they'll, they'll have an instruction manual with that. So some of my questions were some of the, the accessories that actually came with the desk. So let's go ahead and have a look at the desk and um, we'll, we'll get into what questions I did have. So uh, as you can see right now, it's set up. This is how you would get it, minus of course all the screws everywhere, um, out of the box. So it, it would, it's not gonna be assembled. So I've put on the legs, the back skirt, and um, that's pretty much it. That's all the screwing on that I've, that I've done. So I did take apart some of this to actually put the legs on. In order to, for convenience to put the legs on, they do have two holes here to get to the screws that are here. And then there's also another set of screws back in here for each leg. So there's four screws for the legs. Um, the way they recommend you assemble that is to take the legs, set them up, put the skirt on, which consists of 12 screws. So you put the 12 screws in and then you set the desk on top of it and screw the other eight screws into that. Um, what I did is actually took the motherboard trays out and then put the screws in and kind of did a little bit more work than I should have. Um, but anyway, so what part of that reason is, is we do have the second motherboard tray. So we're gonna be taking this sec section out here and putting in the new tray with the new back plane. Um, so one of my questions was, what are these? So I did find out, um, Scott and Thomas told me that these are designed for, if you do have the single, if you go single system, this is designed to have hard drives. So you can mount your hard drives from the bottom of the plate. Uh, you'll screw into the hard drives and then these will sit on top to reinforce your hard drives from rocking back and forth. If you, you know, but if your desk is not moving anywhere, they should be fine if you put multiple drives in there. So this is a cool little feature to uh, strengthen up your hard drives so you don't have any sway in them. Um, but we're not gonna probably be using them in here since there'll be a system here. I do think they will come in handy because as it is right now, I have 12, 13, 15 hard drives that need to go in here. That includes SSDs. So um, this side will have six hard drives, one SSD, the other side will have six hard drives and two SSDs. That side will be covered because let's go over to that side and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so over here we have a capacity of a total of eight, eight drives, four in each setup, one, two, three, four. Um, so they slide in and it's kind of your decision if you want the wires up top or the wires on the bottom. It originally comes like, let me show you how it would come. It has these plates on the bottom to close this section off if you were gonna not put the wires to the bottom and then these would be on top of that. Um, I will be taking these out, but I wanted to show in the video all the stuff that it comes with. So that's that. And then another cool feature is, is they have plenty of grommets here. These grommets aren't even fully cut yet, so um, you don't have to worry about seeing down there if you don't use that grommet. Um, plenty of IO support here, uh, a lot of water cooling support, so you can run your lines through to the back section. Um, a lot of space here for reservoirs. Uh, Peter Brands has done many different configurations in this area. These, uh, here's some of the, let's go over some of the accessories. I know I'm kind of skipping around here, but so the desk 
the the vanilla desk the retail desk does come with one one set of these already installed and um, it does come with the wires for the two switches so it'll come with two switches and it comes with the wiring for the switches it comes with all the screws you see in here these are all the screws that actually come with the desk i just dumped them out because i was putting stuff together um, and then it also comes with one hard drive or one hard drive one power supply bracket so um, let me go ahead and pop up in the back here and show you So this is just a plate that sits on top to cover all the wires and stuff and whatever you got going in the back. So in the back area you have uh, plenty of space here for big fat radiators. Um, this bracket actually can mount two different ways. It can mount like that how it is. Um, it's got multiple screw holes uh, all the way around. So you could put it like this. You could put it the other way. You could put it that way. It doesn't matter however you want to do it. And these whole, the whole pattern here is set up to have the, the power supply wherever you want. And it is, it is drilled out for a secondary power supply if you went with the second system. Um, they also have an access panel here. I think it has uh, three screws total. So if you drop this access panel, you're able to get underneath the motherboard tray and do some wire management or route wires underneath, like for the hard drives in the front, stuff like that. So once you get the leg installed, the legs do have um, the option, the option for running wires into them, maybe for some lighting or, or whatever, whatever you choose to run down in there. There's a whole access here that goes down. And then there's on, on the underside, there's some big grommets to be able to get into there. And there's also big access panels. So everything is accessible. That's a nice thing. Um, and then also if you look on the outer leg, it does have a trim piece of, I want to say acrylic behind this panel. I'm not sure if that'll light up if I throw a light behind it, but I'm gonna find out. Um, if not, then I'll have to figure that one out. But anyways, all right, so back to the other side. So as I've discussed earlier, this is set up for hard drive location so you can put more storage in here. It does come capable for five, uh, four or five and a quarters. And whether you choose to use them or not, it's totally up to you. It does come with the plates to cover the drive base. And if you notice here in the front, um, for the limited edition ones, you actually got a plate that came with it. And they're all numbered. Um, you can take this off if you go to a second system. And this is where the USB ports and the audio headers and the power and reset would be at. So that's that part. So I wanted to show you how modular the, uh, the desk is. So we are, I will be taking this out and showing you the other setup. I've already unscrewed it. This plate comes out and then I've already unscrewed all this. So that way I can just pull it out, put it to the side. And then the motherboard tray would just slide right out. Uh, one thing I did notice for the other side to get the motherboard tray out of that side is they do have the fan grills in here and they have really long screws on it. So on that side of the chassis, you actually have to pull all these guys out to pull the tray out. So uh, this gives you a better look at the access panel. It's the same on the other side. It has three screws, one, two, and three. And it also has like a, a, a lip here so you can lock it in and lift up and screw it in. All right, so let's talk about the upgrade pack. Uh, I'm thinking that with your upgrade pack, if and when they become available, you will be able to purchase a secondary motherboard setup. Um, now, this would come with another set of USBs, these two pieces, um, an on a, a power switch, reset switch, wiring for that, that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what else is gonna come with, but I'm pretty sure that, that this is the basic that it would come with. So basically, take this guy, drop it in here, and that's in. As you can see, the holes line up. They are coordinated for each side. The, uh, the right side, which this is the right side, is cut out on the right side, the front, the top corner and the bottom corner there. And then for this guy, I'm pretty sure I could just slide this in here. If I line all these guys up, should be able to get it in. There we go, and there it is. That's that, boom, ready for a second motherboard or a second system. 
Um, so, and I'm, I'm, I, I'm thinking also the power supply bracket will, would come with the second system setup. Um, so let's talk about cooling, the cooling configuration options that you would have with this setup. Um, so out of the box, it comes a three, uh, total of 14 fan setups uh, for cooling. It has two 360 setups, which is two, uh, three 120 millimeter setups on each side. And they do supply the fan grills that come with it. And then on the back side, you have a total of eight 120 millimeter or uh, two 480 millimeter radiators. That's quite a bit of water cooling right there. I did also notice that the hard drive setups are set up to have fans here. So as you can see, the 120 millimeter um, hole pattern here for fans, and that's on both sides. So you're talking a total of another 420 millimeter fans here. So that's pretty good because if you have all mechanical drives, you know, you want better airflow for your, for your hard drives to stay cool. You can have all four fans there just blowing air right through them. So that'd be awesome. Also, another thing is uh, some of these desks were limited edition as I was showing you with the placard. So the placard comes with a limited edition desk. And also from my understanding, uh, you should be getting a footrest. Um, I thought that was kind of funny, but uh, I talked to one of the guys and he's like, well, I wanted somewhere to rest my feet. So um, I had to find out what this was. This is actually a footrest that mounts on the very back of the chassis at the, at the bottom and it's adjustable. So that's a pretty cool feature. If you just want to scoot in and kick your feet up, this would be the way. Um, another thing I want to show you is the glass that comes with it and the, the shelf. I left it in the box. Reason being is I didn't really see a point in pulling it out. Uh, that'd be the last thing that I have to mess around with. Um, so it has the double, two of these brackets, um, and then it has a smaller bracket here. Um, I only see one of those. And then this big piece of glass. Um, I only saw one piece of glass in here, so I want to say, yeah, it only comes with one, one shelf. So um, maybe you can ask for another shelf. Maybe they'll sell you another shelf, I, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what the smaller piece would be for. Maybe uh, center support. So you have these two on the ends and then this one maybe just in case you have something heavy on there. Um, I haven't tried to put them on yet. Um, so once I do, then I'll, I'll update you because I will be doing a build with this. Then for the glass, we have a very nice and big piece of glass here. Um, you're talking probably quarter inch thick piece of glass. It does have the little rubber stoppers on it um, for the locations that it may make contact with something. Um, and then it also has the Red Harbinger logo in the bottom corner. So that'll actually be the front left hand corner of your desk. It's pretty cool. All right, so now we're going down under. So let's check out the bottom down here. That's kind of wanted to show you the legs. These legs are very nice, uh, well manufactured. They have multiple different grommets here for whatever reason, depending on where you put your shelf. Uh, could depend on what, what you have on the shelf and if you need wiring to go to that, that item or whatever. Both legs are the same. Also up here in the back, there's two more grommets uh, in case you had to run some other wiring or whatever. Um, these panels do come off. I think it's eight screws total and this panel will come off and you can get behind it to run other wiring and set up when, you know, maybe some backlighting for the panels on the, the outside here. Also, another thing, uh, I didn't take it apart, but this panel drops out, um, or from the inside, the over the top kind of the center area, that also comes out, depending on how you want to do it. Um, all You see all these holes here, they're actually for SSDs, so this is uh, drilled out for up to 12 SSDs. Um, kind of wish it would have been drilled out for regular HDs because it would give you more space um, or both you know but uh, that is kind of a cool setup in case you want to stash, stash away a bunch of uh, SSD storage so the there's only like an inch of space though maybe enough room for a hard drive in there that's about it or you could run all your wiring in there all right so now we're at the back of the desk uh, a couple things I wanted to show you on the back here is there is a whole pattern here I'm pretty sure at some point they will have some kind of monitor setup to be able to set up if you had triple monitor or whatever 
Um, I'm thinking maybe a little box that comes out like this and then you put a pole in it or whatever. And this is probably for your monitor wires to run through so that way you can get the routing to your systems. Also over here you can see the grill. The grills are pretty nice grills. And then you also have like a little access panel on both ends right here. So and then you also get a nice little view of the skirt. That's about it. All right, so that pretty much covers uh, the whole desk. We went over everything, everything that's included with the retail desk that you would get. Um, try, I tried to talk about pretty much all the parts that you would get with it and then the possible parts that you would get maybe with your upgrade pack if you wanted to go to a dual system. Um, so overall, my, my thoughts for if I had two grand right now, I'd be buying one of these desks because um, <laughs> the quality is this is the best quality I've seen in anything yet. And I've done quite a few different chassis and quite a few different builds. Um, so for, for the most part, you get what you pay for. That has always been my theory. Once again, thanks for watching my video. Until next time.